Guys, Jed Walters here, uh, and welcome to the first of a series called How to Play. Uh, I'm going to get you guys on the golf course, and I'm going to show you how to play the, the shots that you could face between the tee and the green, um, whether it be a par 3, par 4, par 5, whatever difficulty it might be. Uh, with it being US Open week, and the, uh, the topic of the fescue and the rough over at Erin Hills in Wisconsin, I thought we'd start with a few options from the rough. So, we're going to do three different options, so this is going to be the first of three videos on the rough. This one is about shots out of sort of <coughs> average rough. We'll go into a long rough shot and we'll also look at it from sort of shortish rough as well. Options of club selection, etc. as we go through. So looking at this one here, if we look at the lie, we get the close-up on the lie. Um, it's sitting down, there's a good few inches of grass there. So there's plenty of grass going to get trapped in between the, go the golf club face and the golf ball. This is something that we've got to take into account. We can't just look at the distance we are from the hole and say, right, my normal club, say 150 yards, A time, I'm going to hit A time. We've got to have a little look at, at what our lie is, what the conditions are, um, and what we think we can actually get from it. Can we get a lower loft from this to match the distance that we need to go? Or have we just got to get it back in play? So from this one here, um, we've got a little over 150 yards to go. Um, because there's a lot of grass going to get trapped between the club face and the ball, we might get what is known in a term as a flyer. And that's where there's just no friction on the face, so the ball comes out with less spin and control, so it keeps going and bounces. So we want to take that into consideration. We also want to take into consideration the, the, the conditions, so temperature, wind, wind direction, how strong it is. So you can't see you might see the, the shirt and the pants sort of flapping the wind is a little bit coming sort of this way behind me and a fraction sort of downwind as well so it's a little bit from when i'm going to play the shot down and off the left hand side so i've chosen a club less than what i would normally have because there's a little bit of breeze down but it's generally a crosswind i've gone down to a nine iron to take into account the potential that this ball could come out hot could get a flyer um, now if i don't it comes up short i don't it comes up short but when we look at then the surroundings of the hole itself the trouble that's around the green you've got to take into account whether or not hitting the ball over the back of the green is an option or whether you're better off being a little bit short and on this hole we're better off being a little bit short there's trees and and mountains at the back so it's a difficult shot if it goes over the back of the green on this particular hole we're on the ninth hole by the way here at manson golf center so i'm going to go through the setup now of how we need to play this shot now we want to get the ball fairly central in the stands we don't want to go too far back and too low because as we're coming down we want to steepen our angle of attack but we don't want to take too much loft away so we're going to have it more of a central more of a normal ball position from this one because it's not too deep a rough in here um, now we can open the face a little tiny bit and that just helps the club then slide under and stops the the neck and the hose all getting tangled in with the grass it's an option if the grass was a little bit longer from this type of line but from here we're just going to play it normally so club face is going to be in a normal position i'm going to feel more pressure in this lead side and what i want to feel now is i've got to keep the pressure forward on this lead side but i'm going to really focus on hinging the wrists upwards getting a cocking of the wrists early in the backswing to then try and increase that angle of attack so we can get down and really fire the ball out of the rough we don't want to get too much grass we want to get as little grass trapped between the face and the ball there will be some because of the way the, the ball's lying here but i want to try and minimize that and then we just want to make a nice solid swing as we go through so let's give this one a go I'm going to be aiming a fraction down the left hand side as you'll see from our down the target line view with that crosswind so pressure forward keeping it forward and then early wrist set stay nice and smooth and through and that's come out beautifully it's landed a fraction short onto the green 
and then it's ran up there nicely. So that's in a great spot. As you can see there, clip them down. There's plenty of grass got stuck in between there, but the ball's come out beautifully and that ball's nicely onto the green. So club selection for the conditions, for the lie, perfect if we go through that sort of process as we want to play these types of shots we'll have much more success as we move forward and we'll get out of trouble a little bit easier guys thanks for watching post your comments in the box below i'd love your feedback on the shots that you'd like to see how to play when you're out on the golf course ones that may trouble you ones that maybe you don't get into a lot but you know having the tool in the bag to get out of trouble from that position is always good please post comments in the box below i want to really hear from you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure you click the button click the little bell icon as well for the notifications from when we post a video subscribe to the channel there the, the instagram facebook twitter all the links at the bottom there as well guys thanks for watching i look forward to seeing you again next time